like a jump rope or I don't know hula hoops are pretty good they keep you moving you guys can use it it's a good it's a good necessity not necessity sorry uh, it's a good exercise tool you can use if, if you're already exercising why not use it don't ask me what I'm doing because I don't know <laughs> yeah if you guys have no space I'm kind of just drawing a figure eight Go ahead, high knees, you guys. And heels back. Oh, Sahan and Sumit are pulling out the hula hoops. <laughs> and go ahead and stretch. Get the heart rate going. Okay. okay, here. If you guys have like a strip of uh, space, you don't need a lot. Just kind of work with what you got. Okay, I'm gonna go like this. Okay, I'm gonna go. I don't know how to do it without. Boom. So I'm gonna start off with my left leg. I'm going to go middle, think of like this line, I'm going to go middle, middle, out. And I'm going to go middle, middle, out. Boom, boom. I'm kind of just doing that. I'm shuffling. So I go in, out, in, out. And then I'm going, I think, hold on. It's hard to do to explain. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, I'm actually doing an extra step. Boom, boom. One, two. Oh my gosh, you guys. Boom, 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 boom. One, two, three. Okay, I'm stepping first. I'm doing two steps. I'm going step with my front leg, step in with my middle, with my back leg, and I'm going to step out with my front leg. And then I step again with my the other leg. Step, step. Step, step, step. So three steps. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, oh, one, two, three. I'm figuring this out too, you guys. <laughs> one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. You guys got that? I know. I can. Yeah, there you go, Cynthia. So if you guys remember the agility ladder, that's what I'm trying to mimic. Okay? So, here, maybe if I have the agility ladder. I know, I'm sorry. You guys don't get to use it, but like I said, utilize what you have. So if you imagine, I'm in one of the squares. I don't know if you guys can see. I'm in one of the squares. And I go out. I go in, in, out. One, two, three. One, two, three. The next ladder. One, two, three. Two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then you try to go faster. And you go backward. Boom, 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 boom. And I step on that one. Your goal is to kind of get your footwork going. Okay, so one more time. I'll start from here. You're gonna go. The leg, my right leg goes in. I go right, left, right out. Pick up my left. New square, left, right, left out. Pick it up, new square. Right, left, right. Left, right, left. You guys got that? Try it a couple more times. There you go, Cynthia. And I want you guys to try to pick up the speed if you can. It's actually a lot easier without the ladder. Once you get the footwork, it's a lot easier because you don't have to worry about stepping on the ladder. So if you try to just go boop, 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 boop. Okay? I want you guys to try to get that footwork. One, two, three. Okay? How I know you get the footwork is if you can explain it because I don't, I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> Okay, good. Let's put this away. Very messily. Oops. 
This is not how you put away the jelly liner, but it's what I got right now. Okay? Circle your arms. Let's do some arm circles like this. Just looks like I'm wearing a long t-shirt. I'm wearing shorts, I promise. It's too hot for tights. Okay. All right. Let's drag a little bit more. And I want you guys to do 15 squats. Go for it. Go down. I did 16 just to even it out. Okay. 15, can you guys, 15 push-ups. I want you guys to try your best, okay? You can take your time. You can either do on your knees or without, okay? Go for it. numbers okay so core big letter big numbers in the sky with your feet okay straight legs please go for it Who's hit 15? Okay, go ahead and finish up if you haven't. <sighs> Try not to have your feet straight in the air there, Badab. You want it to be at an angle. That's a, that is what makes it hard, is keeping your feet up at that angle while drawing stuff in the sky. If your feet are straight up, you kind of have it like right above your hips. And so it's not really working out your core too much. You guys know that, right? If my feet are up like this and I'm drawing it like in the ceiling, I mean, it kind of works, but it doesn't activate your entire core. That's why you want to be more in a V position, okay? And your feet, because you're using your whole abdomen, right? You're using your, you're using your uh, upper, upper abdomens here, and you're using your lower to pull your feet up, right? And you're using all of it to draw the numbers to stabilize your legs, right? So you want to make sure you're using all that space right in front in a V position. You guys see that? Okay? Just to clarify. All right. Good. That's good. Go ahead and stretch out, you guys. I like to stretch out my hips because I haven't in a while. Okay, so stretch out if you need to. You can copy me or you can do it on your own. Doesn't matter, I'm not picky. Okay. This is a good stretch right here. This is to help open up your hips. I have one foot tucked and my other leg straight back behind me.
How are you guys feeling? You guys okay? Light-ish warm-up. But uh, we'll get moving here. We're going to be... Who was here last Thursday with Seb by Ethan? Hands up, yeah? So you guys did a new combo, and we've decided we're actually going to continue working on it. That was actually Seb by Ethan's. Ethan's combo. He came up with that, so it was a really good one. So we decided to continue. Okay. Now today, I'm not going to be doing the exact same one. I might touch on it just a little bit at the end, but I do want to work on some of the qualities of the of the uh, combo. So it won't be the whole thing, but it'll look fairly familiar. Okay, if you have done it. Okay. Everyone say hi, sound by Paul. They can't hear, he can't hear you, but you can say it for sure. <laughs> Easier to take your guys' roll. Okay, go ahead. Take a five-second break. Get some water. It's hot, so I'm going to get some water. It's cold in here. What are you talking about? Well, you were outside. It's, it's so, so hot, hot outside. I'm dying. Yeah, it's really hot outside. Don't oh go outside, you guys. It's, it's, it's really bad. It's, it's like, it's stifling. still, it's still orange outside. Oh, my goodness. Ew, my water's warm. That's my one. Okay. Mary Jo Berry. Is that your mom's name, Marilyn? Can't she unmute? I don't know. I can't change my, my name, but this is Marilyn. Okay. You guys ready? You guys good? Okay, so to... Oh, they're frozen. Sorry, you guys. Sorry, you guys were frozen. Was I frozen for you guys? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I sorry. <laughs> I just realized I might have been frozen for all of you guys. So me yelling like that probably scared the bejesus out of you. I saw Cynthia go whoa. So sorry about that. I didn't mean to yell <laughs> out of the blue. You guys were all just frozen for me. So let it go. All right. I'm losing it. Okay. No, I'm good. I'm good. Um, all right, so today we're going to go over the check hook, and we're going to build that up into a combination, and then you'll, it'll actually look, like I said, it'll look fairly similar to what the uh, the last combo you guys did with Senpai Ethan would be, okay? So it kind of uses the same techniques, all right? So let's go ahead and get started. Go ahead, and I want you guys to just kind of loosen up your shoulders and your hips, boom, boom, and just throw in a one-two. Kind of really light, one, two, not really much power behind it. Just kind of boom, boom, sink down into it. Turn your hips, okay? Boom, boom. Yeah, light, light punches, boom, boom. You can go ahead and go one, two, hook, All right? You can go two, three, two. Go ahead and do two back slips, two rear slips. Two again, boom, boom. Load up your legs, you slip to the right, you slip to the left, boom, boom. Good, keeping your hands up. Two jabs and across. Two jabs and across. Go ahead, uh, cross pivot. Okay. Jab, cross pivot. Good. Yeah, so you're going to pivot. And don't worry, we're going to go into depth because that is actually the technique. That's the check hook that we're going to do today. It's called a check hook, right, Simba Paul? Yes. Just to make sure the name. I heard Sensei Lucas say it briefly, but it wasn't, I didn't confirm it with him. So I'm going to call it the check hook. I will. Let you guys know next time if it's wrong, but that's what we're doing for today, okay? So we're working on pivoting, and it's going to be a pivot into a hook, and it's really throwing your weight in as you're pivoting, boom, okay, as you're moving off to the angle and you're hitting that way. So let's actually, let's go over that, okay? So we're going to go hands up, whatever leg is in front, that's the leg you're going to be pivoting on, okay? So first things first, let's go ahead and start with a slip, all right? It could either be a slip or a drop down two. Doesn't matter, I like, we're going to be working this off of a slip, but this is good, okay? So we're loading up that leg, boom, okay? And we're changing levels, okay? As I'm nice and loaded, I'm, I'm going to be moving in the direction, um, let's say to the side. So whichever leg is in front, I'm going to be pivoting to the, I don't know how to say it. Anyways, just watch, okay? So what I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm first going to take my foot and I'm gonna bring it across from me. So I'm kinda kinda like cross my feet. I know, it's just for a split second, okay you guys? Don't, no, we don't normally cross our feet like that, but this is more kind of just a transition step. And it's not close together, do you see that? My foot is actually out here, okay? So that's your first step. You're gonna drop, step, 
Okay? Yeah. Drop and step. All right? Boom, boom. All right, now you can kind of see how that will pivot, right? Because you you don't want to stay in that position for long. So you drop, step. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rotate my hip, and that pivot, I'm going to pick up the heel of my foot. Boom. And you guys see that? My heel is up. So just like how we normally do for a cross, if you notice my back foot, I actually pick up my heel, and I kind of like do this, I kind of like rub my foot into the ground like that. We call it squishing the ketchup packet or squashing the bug. If you guys like use a shoe, you step in a bug and you like rotate like this and squish it. So it's the same idea, you're just using your front foot. Okay, just like you would for a regular hug actually. I don't know why I didn't think of that. You're rotating that, right, to throw that hip. So same idea, it's just that now you're adding that step first and then you're pivoting and you're hitting off this way, okay? Boom, boom, okay? So drop, pivot hook, okay? Boom, boom. And that wants to be fluid. So once you get kind of used to that step, pivot, and you hook, throwing that. So think of it kind of like a delay, you guys. You don't want to, you don't want to um, throw. I don't like to really say to throw and hook at the same time. So I, we call it kind of like an echoing effect. So if you think about it, I throw my hip first, I throw, and my shoulder stays back, okay? I go boom, and then I let this, when I let this shoulder contract, that's when I let my fist go. So in real speed, it doesn't look like very much with what I'm talking about. It looks like you're doing it at the same time, but really, it's a little bit of an echo. Do you guys see that? I throw, and I leave this shoulder behind, boom, boom. And I hit, so it's a two. It's a two, two kind of like a really quick one two. Okay, goes one two. You guys see that? So kind of give that a try. Throw the hip first. Let the shoulder blades expand, or let the chest cavity expand. Boom, boom, and then you drop into that. Okay. So again, this is your front hand. Yeah, there you go. Okay. So all together, we drop, we change levels. I'm gonna take my back foot and I'm gonna step off the side. I'm gonna make sure I'm in the camera. Step off behind, I throw the hip as I pivot, and then I let it come through, okay? And real quick, I'm aiming right to the side of me. So wherever I'm facing, I'm aiming that way. Now, your opponent could very well still be in front of you. They could be to the side now after, you, after they threw an attack at you. But remember, they're not behind you, and they're not back on the other side. So you're not going to pivot and throw all the way back here. Right? You're going to stay fairly kind of like in the middle of your two angles, okay? The, the front and the side. You're going to be fairly in the middle, okay? That's kind of your range because what this is going off of is imagine someone like me is, is really passionate about their throw. They're being really emotional and, they're, and they throw that big swing at you. That's what that drop is for. So I know a lot of you guys will probably think you slip, but that's why we've done the drop changing levels into that because that still works off of a looping right it works off of a cross right so all you have to do rather than rather than doing this you guys that's a common that's a common uh, uh, thing today i just want you to go from a to b do you see that this takes too long i want you to go straight to, from shoulder to knee just that okay that right there is enough because you're changing levels right you're not just going side to side like you would slips you're actually changing levels that's your slip right that's your u slip that's not your u slip but that is your drop level uh for today okay so just go from here i throw that swing and you just drop exactly and then you're here so you see that swing you drop and you pivot okay drop pivot boom boom okay that's called the check that joshua that was really good okay so hana simita vadon you guys getting it Hogan, Henrik, Nicholas, Marilyn, I know you can't see you, but hopefully you guys were able to pick this up a little bit, okay? So again, you drop, and right away, you turn and hook, okay? And you hold that, you hold that hook, don't let it fly, okay? Don't let it fly off over here, where my back is towards you. Remember, here, right in the middle, okay? Boom, boom. Again, drop, pivot. Boom, boom. That was really good. There you go. There you go. More oomph. Sohana, Samitha, let's go. This is your, you two are working on power for your katas. This is it right here. This is what I want you working on. 
boom, boom. Imagine. Use your hips, okay? I know it's hard that you don't have something to, uh, like to, to hit, but kind of just use that same dynamic as though you were going to hit something. And if you, ha like Samita Sana, I know you two girls have each other to help you out. You can have, I don't know, hold the pillow. I don't know, if you have mitts at all, some something to hit, right? You can hold for each other, all right? How are you guys getting that? Good? So again, emphasize that drop. Emphasize that level change, okay? Because remember, this is off of someone attacking you straight to the head or looping from the side, okay? So here, I'm actually going to try it with you guys. I want you guys to guard a position facing towards me. Okay, and I don't want to see that drop. You're gonna drop, and you're gonna rotate. You're gonna pivot and check hook. Okay, ready? Boom, boom. That's it. That's good. Okay, and like I said earlier, you guys, um, remember how I said you're not like your feet aren't close together when you do that when you do this, right? Watch. If I'm facing that way, my foot is fairly where where I put it. You guys see that? So I'm actually placing my foot where I want it to be for this neck for when I rotate, right? So if I'm here and I want to go that way, I put my foot in that corner. It's actually a strategically placed foot to where when I rotate, now I'm here. Now I'm nice and loaded to face this way. I don't have to adjust my foot anymore. I, I just have to like sink down into that leg, okay? So strategically place that foot where you think you're, where you think you're, um, yeah, your body's going to go, okay? So if you think about it, it's a 1-1 one, one dimension. Because you guys know stances is a 1-1 one, one for a guarded position. So now I go across 1, right? So I go straight back, across 1. And now I turn. Now I'm still in a 1-1, one, one, right? Ooh. Math in, in martial arts? What? No, I don't know. <laughs> okay? You guys getting that? I know Cynthia's like, okay? Is this, is this too easy for you guys? You guys need more this is good this is good stuff okay so if you guys can kind of imagine right you're dropping and then you're hitting off of that okay boom boom and you're hitting them either on the sides right or if they're kind of rushing at you right you're letting them rush past you and you're catching them and then in the back the floating ribs anywhere you can get okay all right let's go ahead and add to that let's throw an elbow in there let's throw an elbow in there okay so Real quick, you guys remember how an elbow is, right? Show me an elbow. Everyone show me your elbow. My elbows. There you go. Yeah, so is this is this correct? Like I'm giving a thumbs up. Is this correct? Yes or no? Why? How do I want it? Where should my thumb go? Should I go down? Where should my thumb go? Should go towards me. Like I'm like I'm me. Like that. Okay, so that's actually a good way to think about it. This is wrong. This is this is wrong. This is right. Me, I'm right. <laughs> think of it like that. Okay, I'm right. Okay, so my thumb, my palm wants to be down, and it actually helps if your fist is open, like a chuto. Okay, and it's connected to your chest, and that kind of put doing this rather than this. This pushes the muscle out. This kind of pulls it back in, and your and your your elbow. Your bone protrudes, your ulna protrudes, okay? So that is what you want right there, okay? So as you're doing that, we're going to add that in. We're going to go slip, pivot, hook, straight in for that elbow, okay? So you're going to flare that elbow up, and you're going to drop down, and you're going to cut, okay? Just throw that elbow right on in there, okay? So again, slip, check hook. My elbow comes up and I drop, okay? And I'm going in the new direction now, okay? Boom, boom. Good. Let's see it again. Does this, do you guys notice this from the last combo? It's pretty, pretty similar. We got that, we got that moving in shovel hook kind of a little bit, right? Boom. And then we're moving off to the side elbow a little bit. Not really. I don't know why. Anyways. How are you guys getting that? Let's do it a couple more times, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna go slip, pivot, hook, elbow. Faster, ready? Slip, pivot, elbow. Good, 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 and move off. I want you guys to move off afterwards. Don't just stand there like a sitting duck. 
drop, pivot hook, elbow move. Good, good, good. Again, ready? I'm gonna attack you guys, ready? Go, drop, move, elbow, boom. Good, okay, one more time. Ready? You're gonna drop, pivot hook, boom, elbow. Good, good, all right. Nice, shake it out. Um, let's take a look. Who remembers the last combo that you guys did last week? Who remembers? Anyone? Let me rejog your memory. I don't know what Sahana is doing. All right, you guys remember this? Yeah, you guys remember that? So Frazier drop, we're gonna Frazier slip here. We're gonna move in, shovel hook. We're gonna reload, step off as we do another uh, uh, hook to the side, and we're gonna come over the top with an elbow, okay? So that's shovel hook. That is kind of, uh, no, never mind. Yeah, so let's just go ahead and do that, okay? Uh, real quick, just to kind of get you guys prepared for the next time we meet, and stuff by Ethan here is teaching you guys, you guys have your memories refreshed, okay? So again, Frazier uh, slip. So that is straight from the core. You're pulling downwards with your hips and your core, boom, and you're dropping down into your stance, okay? Boom. So you're not like bowing this way. You're not looking down. You're contracting your core and you're still looking, okay? That's straight if, if I were to throw like a two at you. You're just changing enough, boom, to kind of just slip right underneath that, right? Boom. And you're moving in for that shovel hook, okay? So it's really quick. It's going to be one, two, okay? Boom, boom. Yeah. And you can think of it like um, your feet. Um, do you guys remember the Tyson hook? The one where you load and you move in with both feet. Do you guys remember that? It's very similar dynamics where your feet move after slipping, right? So you slip, you're nice and loaded in that front leg and you push off, you twerk your hips fast enough to where your feet both move and they land together, okay? So that's kind of the same dynamic. It's just this time you're doing a Frasier slip, loaded, you're moving it, okay? And you get them right, right on the, right on the, I forget if it's the liver or the kidneys or somewhere in the organs. I need to catch up with my anatomy, okay? Frame slip, move in, okay? Reload, I'm moving off to the side and I'm throwing that hook, okay? So I'm actually stepping off to the right, boom, that way. And then I'm coming over the top, getting them right in the face, the side of the face, okay? So again, drop hook, hook again, elbow. Okay, good, and move off after you're done. Good, one more time. Frazier, okay, Frazier, move and hook. Move and hook again, elbow. Good, good. All right, nice, one more time from all of you guys, and then we'll move on here. Frazier, shovel hook, hook, elbow. That's it, that's it, and you guys be aggressive about it. Move forward, try to intimidate, okay? Good job, you guys. All right, get a quick sip of water. Take a quick break. We'll move on to some kata here. Okay. Let's see. Where should we start today? Let's do... Okay. We're going to do... Nahachi Nidan, Pinan Sandan, Pinan Godan. Okay, those are our katas for today. So we're doing every other one, okay? So um, that's our review for today. And then the next time I see you guys, we'll do the opposite. We'll do Pinan Shodan, Pinan Nidan, and then go and then uh, Yondan and so forth and so on, okay? One day we will hit the brown belt. One day we will hit the brown belt katas and see if you guys can, well, I don't know. Do you guys know? I think I think we're okay not doing the brown belt katas. If you guys want to review a brown belt kata, let me know. I can help you out individually, okay? So let's go ahead and get started with Nahachi Shodan. I want you guys to spread out. I will join you in your review. Okay. Make sure I'm all good. Nahachi Shodan. Nice bow. Yo. We're gonna go look, look, look. We're moving to our left first. Uh, 
to the right first. Sorry. Boom, boom, boom. Okay? I got it all mixed up. Sorry. My dimensions are wrong. Okay. Ready? To the right. Yo, each. Down, up, smack. Okay? Make sure you're in a proper horse stance. Your feet are uh, forward. Your knees are over your toes. And your chest is fully expanded for that contraction that's coming in three, two, one, go! Knee. Step, load, knee, strike. Now, real quick, I want you guys, I will get into a little bit more depth today because, you know, just because I feel like it, because I'm mean like that, okay? As, as I do that, first of all, hip bumps, right? So it's not, you guys know, like, hip rotation for when you're throwing punches, right? But because we're in a force stance, we're very side to side here. It's hard to do hip rotation without messing with your stance. So that's why there's a hip bump. So where it comes forward and then it comes back. So you're not rotating to where you leave your hip there and you transfer your weight. You're doing it just enough to kind of buff and come back. And that powers your move. So if you guys can rewind, go back to that lower block hook punch, right? Just try that out. Go lower block, nice and loaded for that hook punch. Okay? Boom, boom. Okay? Now just watch. As I step, I don't want you guys to rise up. And then come back down. As soon as you start the kata, where you drop, oh, it's wrong kata. As you drop down, you need to stay in this level the rest of the time. So as I bring this knee up, I use my abdomen and my hip to bring my knee up, and I stop down for that. So go ahead and get to that position. Okay? Go ahead, X clear back fist. Okay? Again, we're gonna go in, out, one. Two, drop down, load, 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 hip bump, ki I didn't ki but hopefully you guys ki okay? Ready? Clear and expand the chest, and ki okay? Down, ooh, I hit my burn, oh, that was bad, okay? Lower block, again, hip bump, boom, two, step, knee, and I stay level as I smack down. Okay, I go X, back, back fist. Good, we're gonna go in one, in two, load. And ki yeah. Good, load again. In, out, good. I think I popped my, nope, I'm good. I got a pretty bad blister on my elbow, but it's okay. All right, how was that, you guys? I know, I kind of, Went on a little spiel on that one, but it's good. It's good, okay? So, that's it. We're not going to do it again, but um, hopefully you guys got something out of that. Now, try to apply those same characteristics to the next card, okay? I think the next one is Pinan Yonda, uh, Pinan Sandan, right? So, again, find places where you can expand the hip, or not expand the hip, expand the shoulders, right? Find a place where you have hip bumps, right? Find a place where, you know, anything you guys can find, okay? Let's go ahead. Pinan Sanda. If you don't know Pinan, I think all of you guys, guys know Pinan Sanda. Okay, so let's go. Right stance to the left. Your itch. Here we have a spinal whip. So if you guys can imagine, as I move in, in, load, out. One, and two. That's spinal whip, okay? You're pushing your hips forward and that powers your movement, okay? Other side. Each knees up. Good. She back stance. Make sure you're in a back stance. Press down. Step through spear hand poke. Okay. Lunging stance. You guys want to be a little bit deeper than you normally are. Okay. Go ahead and parry strike back into a leaning stance. Spin hammer fist horse stance. Okay. Step through kia. Good. All right, we're going to spin and do mom's stance. I'm actually going to change my perspective just so I can see you guys, but you guys are all good. Keep going, okay? Ready? When I say the number, when I say the next number, you guys are going to go all the way to the back fist, okay? So each sequence, ready? Each knee, stomp, back fist. Good. There's your hip bump right there, right, you guys? Ready? Knee, stomp, back fist. There you go. Sun. Reach out, grab, 
Turn the front foot as you step through, poke, punch. Okay, ready? I'm gonna say go, you're gonna finish the kata. Ready? And go! And I, and I wanna see full horse stance. Horse stance, so you should be loaded in that front stance. So if you guys watch, boom, boom, as I turn, load, hip bump, load. I'm in a horse stance. A lot of people, they do that. They bring their feet in and they rise up. No. Load. Okay? And yame. Okay? Good. What's our next kata? Pinan Godan. Okay, so if you don't know Pinan Godan, by Joshua. Okay? Everyone else? Pinan Godan. Last kata. Yo. Oh, Cynthia, do you not know Pinan Godan either? No? Okay. Um, are you learning yet? No? What are you on right now? Pinan Yondan? Yeah? Are you still a green belt? Yeah? Okay. You finished it though, right? Pinan Yondan? Why don't you take a look, try your best to kind of just get the first couple of moves, and I want you, I want you to start, start getting the feel of it, okay? So I'll go slow in the first part. I might speed up at the near the middle and the end, but try to just get those first couple of moves just to get you started, okay? I want you to just take a look, okay? This is your next card. So, Pinan Godan. Go. Yo. Again, starting in a back stance, left side. We're going to go middle block, okay? Reverse punch in that back stance. And then we're going to squeeze in to a hook punch with your feet together, okay? Go for it. Sahana, go the other way. There you go, okay? Stepping out to the right with your right leg. Middle block. Back stance, okay? Reverse punch, hook punch. There you go, good. We're gonna step out with our right leg, augmented block, back stance, okay? Cynthia, you might get lost here, so just watch out, okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna step through as I pull my hands in, double punch down. There you go, okay? Make sure you guys have your left foot in front. We're gonna go in, up. Okay, Cynthia, you might get lost. Boom. Oh, look pretty good. All right, and step through ki. Okay, so Cynthia, if you want to take that for now, you can. Um, I'm gonna keep going. Okay, you got, you got, you guys, everyone else ready? All right. This part, I want you guys to hold position. Okay, so just watch. This is what you're gonna do next. You're gonna pivot, pivot, hold, stomp down. No falling, please. Okay. So a lot of people they tend to kind of fall into the technique, their technique, because they don't hold their position. That particular spot in the kata is to help show, it's to demonstrate your balance, okay? So I want you guys to go ahead and three, two, one, turn, turn, up, stop. Good. Just for a split second, you need to hold your position, okay? You don't have to hold it for too long, okay? Expand, open the shoulders, and kick, elbow. I keep hitting my blister. And go ahead and drop down. L stance, boom. Okay, we're gonna do our big job, ki. Okay, and step forward, augmented block, front stance. Okay, good. Ready? We're gonna go. We're gonna turn towards the front. Front stance, spear hand with our right hand. We're gonna pull out, go into a back stance, turn the foot, squeeze. Okay, good. Cover, step through with our right spear hand, pull out, back stance, turn the foot, squeeze, okay? Yummy. I think Cynthia left, she had to go for class, okay? But uh, everyone else, that was good, that was good. I only saw Sahan and Samita do that uh, kata, but that was good, okay? All right, you guys, you have the rest of class, about seven, eight minutes to practice your katas, okay? If you have any questions, please let me know, okay? I'm going to stop the recording. Uh, for those of you at home watching this video, please feel free to continue practicing your katas, okay? All right.